Hey there, thanks for uh, checking out my channel. Um, just to give you a heads up, this video is about 10 minutes long and not a spoiler, but in the end, I think the issue was I had all gas in the unit and that's why it would not start. But this is 10 minutes of me troubleshooting it. So if you have the same unit or if you're looking to learn a uh, small engine repair, things like that, uh, this is 10 minutes of well use time to understand how to troubleshoot these machines and get them running so i hope you enjoy and if you do give it a like and consider subscribing today we are working on a toro snow commander with power propel uh, two-stage snowblower that will not start so we're going to troubleshoot it and figure out what is going on these are two-stroke machines, so you have to put the oil mix into the gas. Toro does a good job of telling you what it should be. This one is 50 to 1. I don't know if it's 51 in here, but I can see blue gas in there. So that tells me that we got oil mixed in the gas. Um, this one just has a key, you put it on on. You prime it, you choke it, and that is about it for trying to start this thing. So let's just pull it and see what happens. Nada. These newer models make it really easy to get to the carburetor. It's got a couple bolts here that. Hold this plastic cover on that covers the carburetor. If you work on any of these older models, sometimes getting to the carburetor is just, it's nearly impossible. All right, so now that we got that off, let's get some starting fluid. Spray a little bit of starting fluid into the carburetor and see if it'll pop off. Well, something carburetor related is going on with this machine because I can get it to run. Then after I turn it off, it doesn't want to run again. So I'm going to disconnect the gas line and get it out of the way. There's just two screws that hold this carburetor on. Careful as you take this apart, remember where everything went. There's a little spring back in here that does the RPM. So you gotta make sure that that is right. So yeah, this, this piece right here, this 
this linkage He's got these four screws that hold the, the bottom end on. So I want to make sure that this filter is clean. I take this jet out, make sure that's clean. And the float looks to be fine. We're when I had the uh, had it running, I know the float is working correctly because if it wasn't, if it was letting uh, not enough gas in and things like that, it just wouldn't run. So I'm gonna leave that in there right now. But there's really nothing else to take apart on this carburetor. I mean, there's a couple passageways here that we got to make sure are clear. But let's just give this a cleaning. And when I say give it a cleaning, it's primarily this main jet and the emulsion tube, just make sure all these pathways are clear. And then spraying some carb cleaner through the carburetor. All right, got the carburetor all cleaned out. So let's put it back together here. You gotta get that spring or that linkage back in where it goes. So once you get that linkage back on, now you gotta try to fish it all back together. So get these in. And you got this plate, that's got to go on. Then you got one more gasket. Get a couple of turns in this and you're almost home free we also got to get the prime line back on too he's on uh, we'll partially choke it. it's not that cold out today Priming, that's good. All right, I've removed this piece that's how you get to the spark plug. I know we have spark, it's been running. I don't know, if maybe this the, you know, spark plug could be going out or is it the gas is just maybe it's old and ah, I don't know. So this is part of the troubleshooting. comes up enough and you get your hand in here and disconnect the spark plug boot and you get your ratchet in there I can see that there's definitely a gas getting in there. 
it could probably use a new spark plug. New spark plug is installed. The snowblower still will not start. So I am changing out the gas. This is the gas that was in it. Uh, not a ton, it, it looks okay, but I just don't know how old it is. Um, so I'm just gonna put new gas in it and give it a try. All right, so at this point, new gas is in there. Let's see if it'll start up. It's been sitting for a day. 